is good morning. It actually is morning now. <laughs> it's um, 9.30. I'm at the really rare part of my mornings where Jesse and Devin are both still asleep and I'm alone. <laughs> and it's quiet. I'm sitting here looking at my comments on YouTube. I try to read them in the mornings and then at night is when I respond to them. <laughs> because, um, you know, in the mornings I have time to actually focus on what they say. And then at night I have time when everything's calming down to sit down and respond to them. And um, I'm sitting here thinking about that book that I got gifted yesterday. Um, that Edwards Menagerie. <laughs> oh, I said that wrong. I'm trying to think of what I want to make first. Because there's so many cute patterns in there. I know I for sure want to make the Highland Cow and the Goat. I just don't know which one I want to make first. I think maybe the Cow. And I'm pretty confident that that Cow would probably do really good at a craft fair here. Because I made that um, like Milk Cow last year or earlier this year and so many people wanted it so I think the Highland Cow would do good too because it's super cute and it's got the big horns but it's so cute I want to make one I don't know I think I might get that book out today and uh, maybe start something I don't know we shall see hey guys I'm on the couch in the living room I'm talking kind of quietly because Jesse's in there asleep Lord have mercy. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. <sighs> he has been trying me all day. It's just now three o'clock. And he doesn't normally take naps anymore. I'm gonna move my hook bag. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the living room alone. I thought I heard him. I don't think so. I'm sitting here alone. I'm gonna try to sit in quiet for a little while and I hope he wakes up happier <laughs> than he did. I don't know why he's so grumpy. He might. I don't know. He might be going through some growing pains or something. But I did get some cards in the mail I wanted to show you guys. And then I'm going to sit here and eat my snack. I got some Chex Mix. I love those. I'm going to sit and eat some of those and watch some YouTube videos, I think, if he sleeps longer. I had to take Devin to work today because for some reason he was really dizzy. And he didn't think that he could drive himself. And I didn't want to risk it. So we drove him and we just got back from there. And I gotta go get him tonight. He He's just doing inventory. So he's just counting stuff today. And then he's off Friday and Saturday. So uh, I'm hoping he'll be okay. He can't call out because of inventory. And if he calls out, if he had called out, he would have got double pointed instead of just one point. So he went ahead and went to work. And then I will get him later. But I did get some cards today. I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want to make Jesse up. <laughs> Let me get it open here. Okay, so my first card that I got is from Nikki. I sent her a card. Um, you know, when I sent my Christmas cards. And her, her yarny name is Nikki's Crochet Nook. But this is the card she sent me. Yeah, it's a snowman with some cardinals. Really pretty card. She also sent me some stitch markers. Try to be quiet. It's in a little organza bag. Okay. These are really pretty. There's one that's a butterfly. And there's another butterfly right here. It's a different butterfly. And then there's a yarn hink. It says yarn. <laughs> it's just my camera won't focus on me using the front camera. Ah, these two are latched together. <laughs> I'm gonna show them latched together. They're just two hearts. They're separate ones, but that one grabbed hold of the other one. And this one's like my favorite one. This is really cool. Oh, I showed you the backside. I think that's really pretty. That's gonna be a really pretty progress keeper. I like having pretty things hanging from my projects just to admire when I'm uh, crocheting. But she she's from Texas, but it sent she used a uh, international stamp, I guess, because she thought it was pretty. All right, the next card that I got is from Cindy. We all know Cindy, Cindy Kinney. She, um, she's from, uh, Maine. <laughs> I almost said Michigan. She comments on, like, all of our, um, videos. I see her all the time on my videos and on other people's comment sections. But, uh, she sent me this really pretty card. It's really glittery. Oh, there, you can see it shining. It is so pretty. And it's Santa, and he went and got a Christmas tree, and he's got a candy cane cane, which is cute. <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. Thank you, Cindy. And then I got one from my grandmother, my dad's mom. 
I don't have the best relationship with her, but uh, without being mean, the, res the extent of our relationship is Christmas cards once a year. <laughs> but um, she sent me Santa waving. I still love her. It's just uh, She's kind of a hard-to-love person, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then the last card that I got is from Becky in North Carolina. She sent me this card. I'm pretty sure it's homemade. I'm pretty sure it's homemade. It's got a plaid reindeer on it. She wrote me a note and she also sent me an ornament. I'm trying to get it. It's a Christmas tree. It's made with really thin, dainty yarn. It's glittery. And it's been starched or whatever. So I gotta put a label on that and stick it on my tree. I'm so excited about all the, the ornaments you guys have sent me. Because my goal, next year I want to buy a new Christmas tree anyways for in here. Because I'm pretty sure we're still going to be living here next year unless a miracle happens. Um, and I'm going to keep that tree. I'm going to put it in storage. Because when we get a house, I want to have multiple Christmas trees. <laughs> um, like the main one in the living room is going to be our special ornaments, I think. All the ones Jesse's made and uh, that we've bought throughout the years to remember certain events. And then I want to have my other tree, that one probably in like the dining room and um or the other living room if we get a house that's got the two living rooms with handmade ornaments on it only the ones i've made and the ones that i've been gifted all these years and all the next years because i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a while before we get a house <laughs> but um so all these ornaments you guys have been sending me are going to be on that tree for forever <laughs> until they fall apart or you know i die whichever happens first <laughs> And then I got a bill. Bills are boring. No one cares about bills. <laughs> and then I got another package. And it came in a really cute, like, um, Christmas package. Package. That's really cool. But it's from Jenny in California. I'm trying to be quiet. Ugh. She sent me the cutest thing ever. I think it's so funny. It's like a funny, cute gift. Okay, first her card is really pretty also. It's a really pretty card. It's, look at it. Ooh. It's got uh, the manger on it. Day spring. Isn't that an app? But she's wrote me a little note on there. But she sent me because I guess she has heard me talk about it before, but I love reusable bags. I, I use them as much as I can remember. But she sent me this adorable one. This side. This says happy holidays. And it's got the year, which is cool. And then this side. So it's got um Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Pluto, and Minnie, and Chip and Dale decorating a tree and they got popcorn garland which I love I want to like eventually when we get a house and have more space I want to do that every year like maybe the week of Christmas pop a bunch of popcorn and me and Jesse and Devin and anybody else who might be there <laughs> uh, can make um, a popcorn garland and hang it on the tree I think it'd be so cool I put some cranberries or whatever on it but thank you so much I love this I love reusable bags I use them all the time you can ask Devin I even use them um, when I'm cleaning the house, popping it out. Like when I pick up, I have one bag that I always put Jesse's toys in. And when I'm cleaning out from underneath the couches and stuff, I collect all his toys in it and put them in the bag. And I usually make him help me put them in there and then he'll take them to his bedroom. And then when I clean the car, I keep one in the car that I do the same thing. You know, bring in mail and stuff that's been just thrown over the seat. And uh, I try to use them when I go shopping. I sometimes forget. It says Disney Parks. Did you get this at Disneyland or whatever's in California? Which one's in California? That's even cooler to think that it might be an actual Disneyland bag. Let me reread the card. It doesn't say, but I bet that it is. That's so cool. I'll probably never get to go to Disneyland or World, but um, I still like to think about maybe going there. <laughs> but thank you so much everybody for the cards and the bag. I'm trying really hard to be quiet. Um, I'll edit this to make it louder because I know I'm whispering pretty much. But I just don't want to wake Jesse up because he needs a nap. Oh my God, he's driving me crazy today. <laughs> but I know he can't help it, he's little. And I'm pretty sure he still hasn't got his very last molars, his very, very back ones. The, they call them the third year molars. He hasn't gotten them yet, so this might be what that is. <laughs> so, whew, Lord, I hope it blows over fast though because he's driving me crazy. I had to threaten him with calling Santa today and everything. 
I've had to do that. Thank God there's an app. Somebody, some awesome person made an app to where you can have Santa call your phone and you can put the kid's name in it and everything. So he can like give them warnings or tell them that they're being good or whatever. I might have to do that again. I had to do that a couple weeks ago for him. But I mean, he's in the last two, you know, it's less than two weeks away. And so he better be good because Santa will, uh, will know if he's been bad. So I keep telling him, <laughs> but, um, I don't think it listens to me. But yeah, so I'm going to hop up here and eat some of my snack. And I need to be in there cutting material, but I think I'm just going to chill today because uh, Jesse's got me stressed out today. And that's like dinner. I'm not even going to cook for dinner. We're just going to eat pizza. I got some frozen pizzas in there. And that's what we will have for dinner tonight because I just, I'm not feeling today. I'm ready for today to be over with. I'm ready to go to bed. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow because Devin's going to be off of work. So that means I can... Um, punch my parent card and he can be main parent for a little while and I can take a break <laughs> that's my plan <laughs> but I'll, I'll maybe I'll try to catch up with you guys later